Hey everyone, today we're going to show off a demo of data observability in action with IBM's Clapback for Data data stage and data man. So starting off, we're going to assume that a data stage job has already run and now we're in the alert screen within data band where we can select our credit underscore data pipeline, which is our data stage job that has run. Now, within this view, we can see that there's been two alerts that have been triggered. Both are around a run duration alert. So in both these cases, a run of data stage or a job that's ran went above 120 seconds. That's where you can see that here. There's basically a roll up view of this 120 seconds of a job that ran. That's too much for our run duration. So below we can see all the affected data sets and also any effective pipelines that this data stage job is uh, impacting. I can investigate the data stage job within DataBand to see what actually is going on here that would have my job run longer than I expected. So if I go to this data interactions area, you can see that every single time I'm running this new job, we're consuming more and more data. So it could be that we need more resources applied to this data stage job so that we can get the duration under this 120 seconds SLA run that we're expecting. So now I'm back over in IBM's Cloud Pack for Data and I can see my data stage jobs or data stage flows that we're seeing here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the one that uh, we are showing within DataBand. You can see the exact same view that's within DataBand as well, showing me how all these tasks and processes are connecting together. And now I'm gonna do is look into that particular job to understand how many resources is actually applied to this job. Again, if we're consuming all these records, every single run, we're consuming more records. We want to look into the environment, which you see here says that it's a PXS, which shows that maybe this environment configuration needs more resources behind it. So I can go and create a brand new template and apply that to my next data stage job, or I can go into the existing template and update that. Here, what we're doing is we're looking at the configuration to bump it up to the highest hardware configuration. And I can also select different partitions as well. So once I'm able to apply these changes, this should get our duration down uh, below that 120 second mark. We can resolve the issues, resolve the alerts. And now we should have a cleaner pipeline and a faster pipeline run under that 120 seconds SLA that we set. 